Hello, this is Pamela, and you are on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. This is Monday, and I've had a busy weekend crocheting, watching everyone's videos, uh, doing the live chats, with uh, joining in on the live chats, and it's been a lot of fun, and um, I've been getting a lot of hints, a lot of patterns from different people and suggestions on things, and um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you, this is Monday, and I want to show you what I've been working on, what I've accomplished for the week. And um, one of the things is this little infinity scarf right here that I've made. And um, I'm really excited about this one because I wanted, when I searched online for YouTube, I was trying to find something that wasn't bulky and didn't like, wouldn't re real tight around my neck and stuff. I just can't, I don't, I don't like that, you know? So I was trying to find something that, um, that would just kind of flow. I think a doll fell. <laughs> Sorry about that. One of my dolls fell. Um, but anyway, um, so I was looking for something like that and I come across this one and, um, it's called the beginner's infinity scarf. And I also wanted to make something that was quick too. So, and I've been trying to find something that would go, that I could just pull out of my closet and I would have all these different solid colors, these different choices to pick from. And then that way I wouldn't have to have, even worry about jewelry. I figured this would kind of replace jewelry as well. <laughs> so, but I do plan on making some of these a little longer and then twisting them. But as long as they would hang like, like when that twist, it would hang like right here and not up here. So I haven't done that yet because I'm still working on trying to make these in the solids. So it's called the Beginner's Infinity Scarf. I used a G hook for that right here. Just a G hook. This is my favorite type of hook, by the way. And um, it's called expressionfiberarts.com, I believe. Um, that's what I wrote down. Anyway, you know me, I cannot do a pattern without making changes to it. So, um, I do not remember how wide she said to make this. I don't, I don't know. I stopped after row two. I mean, I just did instructions of row two and then stopped and just started making it myself. And I just made it the width that I wanted. But looky here, I've made this, these colors in it. I'm getting ready for my fall wardrobe and I won't have to worry, like I said, about jewelry and things. I can just throw these on and they'll, I have different colors to match whatever outfit I'm wearing. And I do plan on making some of them, like I said, longer. So it doesn't look like I'm wearing the same thing all the time or the same design, but here they are. I'll show you one of them up close. What they look like. Oh, that's the back side, I think. Here you go. That's nice and simple. So if you like this, go to um, expressionfiberarts.com and type in the Beginner's Infinity Scarf. Now, for this one right here, I used the Caron Simply Soft Pumpkin. Isn't that pretty? I just love that color. This should go with a lot of things this fall. So I'm pretty excited about it. Now, I was thinking about, which I haven't had time, but I would like to do this in this color and this cream and then the royal blue or well maybe more like the navy blue I guess uh, combination and do one in all those colors but since I'm working long ways and um, I just didn't change colors I was just trying to do some solids for my wardrobe my accessory wardrobe and just leave it at that to start off with and then I can venture on into doing stripes and things but I just wanted some solids so that I could just grab as needed. So anyway, so that's the pumpkin. And let's see if you like this one. And I got to wear this one out Sunday. I got to wear this to church. And I love this. I wore this with um, a gray tank top and a black cardigan. And it has specks in it. So yeah, this is really cool. And what I like about this one, it's really weird because if you saw my video when I unboxed or did my yarn haul, yarn haul, this Premier Rodeo cotton, I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I like the way that feels. And I was kind of disappointed in the feel. I had never bought cotton before. And then I got a lot of comments, different people telling me, oh, it, you're going to love it when you get to working with it. And 
So I thought, okay, I'm gonna make something. I hadn't intentionally made, I mean, bought this to make like a cardigan and I bought a lot of it because I didn't know how much I would need. So I had all that and I thought, okay, I'm gonna make one of these right here in it. That, so this was my first one I made and I made it with this and it is called, I believe dark gray was the color. I saw that earlier. Yeah, it's just called Dark Gray Premier Rodeo Medium 4 Weight. And it's 85% uh, cotton and 15% polyester. But that was it. And I love it. So, yeah, Premier Rodeo, you'll be getting more of my business because I love the way this feels. So, that's that one if you like that color. Well, let's see if you can see it up close. It's got, like, specks in it and stuff. I just think that is so cool. Okay, if you like this one, this was like an off-white color, and guess what? It's Premier Rodeo too. Yeah, it's called Natural. So I got to use some of this one. Now, I do still have two other Premier Rodeos over there that I have not made one with yet, but I did make this one with that, and if you like that color, it's called Natural. And if you like this color I have on, I did this one with the Caron Simply Soft as well. And this is bone color right here. See? So if you, you might want to watch our video if you want this to be a little wider and a little thicker on you. I did do how many she said lengthwise, around wise. I did chain that amount and I think it was 150. I did not, uh, go off of that, but I stuck with what she said on that one, but I did 10 rounds. So yeah, I wish I'd have written that down, but I didn't. But anyway, so you may have to watch the video a little, little bit farther into it. But yeah, I just did 10 rounds if you like this size, this width, and it's just perfect for what I needed. So yeah, I'm excited about those. And yes, I do plan on making a black one because you know, we all gotta have black in our wardrobe. Black is our must have color. Okay, the other thing I wanna show you guys is I finally finished my purse. I'm sure you saw my videos of me when I got the yarn, when I got it and I unboxed it and showing off what I was gonna make and the pattern where I finally made it. Woo um, It's called Yarn Inspirations Trendy Tote Bag. I do not have a color printer. Sorry about that guys, but it's you can go online and see it. Um, but you're fixing to see it right here anyway. Of course, I did make changes. You know me. I always got to make changes to any pattern I get. She has two straps. I wanted mine to be a crossbody purse, and so I have one. She changed 61. I changed 81 to make it just one long strap. And let's see. Here is the purse. Here's the, the long strap. Yeah. There's the strap, but there's the purse right here. Yeah, and it just single crochets all the way around. Um, I don't know, if, I'll see if I can put it on and you can see it um, in the camera, I don't know. You can sort of see it. Now, the reason I made didn't chain more than that, I thought about it, but you know how yarn stretches? And I thought, well, when I put my stuff in it, my heavy stuff in it, it'll kind of slide down anyway. So that's why I made it, and I knew it was fitting right here, but I really want it to fit more like right here. But once I get my stuff in it, it will. But there it is. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about this purse. Uh, by using, by going by this pattern, I think you'll like it if you decide you want to make it. Um, I think you'll be happy with it because it is two strands together, which makes this nice and strong. But here it is up close. Isn't that cool? The way it did that. Yeah. You can choose your own colors if you want. But here's what I had left when I bought the patty green, it said. And that's all I had left in that the Red Heart Super Saver. It's not much left. So that's that one. And the other one is Tea Leaf. 
And this is what I had left on it. Tea leaf, red heart, super saver yarn is what they said. And so tea leaf, that's what you have left. And then the other one was just, you know, the red heart turquoise. And there it is. Red heart, super saver turquoise. They're a uh, medium four weight yarn as well. Okay. Now on this purse, you know, I have to have mine lined because I just don't like the idea of things possibly pop, uh, popping out. So here is, I just found some material in my yarn stash, I mean, in my fabric stash, and I just lined it. So I'm gonna tell you real quick, if you guys out there that crochet and not sure about sewing, this is very easy to do. Um, anybody can make, can line a purse. Don't think that lining a purse is hard. It is very easy to do. You lay this down, you lay your fabric down, you lay this purse. Now, I did it without this and without my strap. I laid my purse down like this on a piece of fabric or two pieces of fabric. You take these scissors like this. I forgot what these are called, but they got the little grooves in them like this. If you don't have a serger, and I have a serger, but I use it because it's just less work to, have to be able to use this. It's not as much work involved. So you take these type of scissors right here and you cut, while this is laying down, you just cut your fabric all the way around like this. You will take and on your sewing machine or hand stitch, whatever, if you don't have a sewing machine, just hand stitch it on the two sides and the bottom. And then you take the top and you just turn it under and then you press it with an iron. Then, you stick it inside the bag and take a um, straight pins and hold them down all the way around. And then you just take thread and needle and just hand stitch all the way around. And you've got a liner. It's that easy. Anybody can do it. Um, now, if you want to go a little bit farther and you're like, well, I want pockets on mine inside. Before you attach the two pieces together, you have to put your pockets on. Pockets are very simple as well. A lot of people think, oh, I can't do pockets. Pockets is just, you just take a piece of fabric and either a square or a rectangle, whatever you want, whatever size, you just cut it with your little scissors right here. You turn all four sides down. I take what's gonna be my top side, run it through the sewing machine so that it's pressed down. That will be your opening inside the pocket and then you just find the center of your pocket i mean a center of your fabric um you know for both sides rather when i say center not the center of all four sides but the center of the two and then as far as where you want it to go in your purse you just kind of figure out looks like i probably did about three inches down on mine and you just take your straight pins hold it in place run it through your sewing machine i put a pocket on both sides and if you decide that you want a pocket like this, it holds a yarn needle or something, a pen, pencil, something like that. All you do on that is very simple as well. You just take your piece while you got it on that one piece of fabric. You just take that little piece you made, put it on there, straight pin it, and then take put something in here, the the width that you want it to be, whatever you want it to be. I just stuck a pencil in there and then I took some straight pins and went all the way down, you know, the pocket. And then I took this out, went to the sewing machine and stitched it down. And then that gave the width that was needed. That's all I did for that. Um, Cause I've done it without putting a pencil in there and I've made it, it come out too tight. So I always kind of put something in there first and then your straight pins. So that's how easy that is. So if you want to line it or even add pockets, you can do it. It's not bad. Um, and then you just need to find you a button. I really wanted a wooden button, oh, but I did not have any. I looked all through my buttons and I just could not find a wooden button. So, but this one's okay. So, but I did find that button. I don't know where it come from, how long I've had it or how old it is, <laughs> but that's what I found the closest thing that you know, was to my liking. But yeah, so if you want to make that purse, go to Yarn Inspiration's Trendy Tote Bag 
cut you out some fabric when you're done. I mean, the fabric part, the lining is really easy. Like I said, you're just sewing on three sides, basically sticking it in there and hand stitching around it. That's all it is. Um, I don't know, probably 10 minutes is all it took me. Um, so anyways, that's what I've got on that. Um, okay, and then let's see. I found this about five years ago. And if anyone knows how to make this, please let me know because I want to make one. And I've been trying to find a pattern for it. I found this at the state fair. And I love this little thing. See? But I don't know how to make it. And it looks like it's it looks like it's like folded. See, it's like that. And then they just folded it like that. I guess I could take it apart, but it's so pretty. I love this. Like I said, I bought it about five years ago and it looks like it's maybe one long piece, but I just not sure how they did that stitching, what's going on exactly. So, you know, if anyone knows, has an idea, or knows where a pattern is similar to this, let me know, because um, I would like to make one of these. Let's see. But in other colors. Yeah. So, I guess I probably will just take it apart. But see, they stitched it right here, where it holds together. But yeah, I bought this at State Fair about five years or so ago, and I really like it. So if you got any ideas how to make that, um, just leave a comment. <laughs> I would appreciate it. Uh, the other thing is on my, um, yeah, my adoringdawclothes.com, I do have a sale going on right now on all my patterns. So uh, if you are an email subscriber, check your email because you will have a coupon in there for all my patterns. And then the other thing is I, on my blog, I have a, giveaway uh, going on. You do not have to be an email subscriber to enter the giveaway. You just got to enter your email, but it doesn't mean that you're that you're subscribed to um, my blog. That's totally different. If you want to subscribe to my blog and be, you know, get coupons and what's going on and, you know, my newest patterns and things, then that's where on the right hand side of my blog, you go, it says, you know, to subscribe. That's where you, but the giveaway is just entering your email. But this is what I have right here, this little outfit that I have crocheted. It's a little purple jacket, little pink t-shirt, and um, a, this here's the little neck scarf. Here's the little skirt that slips on the doll, and there are the shoes right there with little built-in socks. So this is what is going to be given away. And let's see, I thought it, yeah, and it comes with a little headband. Like I said, I'm scared to use a doll, actual doll in it because of all the new changes coming up. So someone suggested using a dress form. And uh, thank you for that, by the way. I can't remember who it was, um, but I thank you for that suggestion. And so I thought, well, I have a, a dress form, a doll dress form. So that's what I have. And then that's this. So go to adoringdollclothes.com. And the giveaway link is at the top left-hand side of my website. That's all you got to do. So, uh, that's all I have. I hope everyone's enjoyed this video. And um, I've got a lot of new things that I'm still working on. And I'll be showing those again, maybe even later this week, depending on, you know, what I've got done. I do have a lot of yarn coming in the mail because there's a few sales that had gone on. And so, when I get those in, I'll be glad to show those, those to you guys. And, um, like I said, I've had fun this weekend just uh, really doing nothing but crochet and just watching a lot of videos and watching TV and with my hubby and just, you know, stuff like that. And it's just been a nice, quiet weekend. Rainy. So I think that's one reason why I didn't do too much outside the house. But uh, yeah. So if you like this, uh, please like, share, and subscribe and tap the bell so you'll be notified of mine. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching. And you all, um, God bless you and have a good day.